Hello drone video fans. I'm doing this uh, short video uh, at the request of DJ Soulforce who wanted to see me flying my ZMR250 racer and since I just spent some time um, re uh, redoing the PIDs, the adjustments on them um, a week or, or so ago I decided I'd come out here to the uh, picnic area of uh, Geneva State Park and uh, get a little uh, practice and see how stable it was. Um, setting the PIDs is probably the most twitchy thing about setting up these uh, these racers. Uh, it's you know the whole success of your flying uh, depends on on um, how well you get them set up. So uh, I, I think I got them uh, tweaked in pretty well here. I'm just trying a few maneuvers uh, here back and forth just to uh, see that it uh, it stabilizes. Uh, right now I have it in uh, what they call angle mode where it won't exceed a certain uh, angle but shortly here I'm going to switch it over into uh, horizon mode and uh, do uh, a few uh, rolls and uh, loops uh, with it but um, uh, normally I fly over that grass where the guy is cutting grass now here's a little high speed run I wanted to see how, how it would respond uh, in a high speed pass and I'm going to do another one but as I said normally I fly over that uh, grassy area but there's a guy cutting grass so I couldn't really fly over that, so I have to fly over this concrete, which uh, adds a little bit, bit of excitement, especially when you're flying 50 or 60 miles an hour. And uh, so here we go. We're in horizon mode now, and I'm going to test uh, first a roll to the right, then a roll to the left. And I'm going to watch to make sure that after it rolls, it settles down into a, a stable position like that. So that means that my uh, PIDs are set pretty good. There's a roll to the left, and it settles down pretty nicely so uh, I'm pretty satisfied with the adjustment on the PIDs that way. Uh, then I'm going to uh, uh, turn it back around and maybe uh, give it a shot at doing uh, some uh, uh, loops. Now you can do front flips and back flips and I think the first thing I'm going to do here is uh, try some back flips uh, and I got a little surprise here when I tried my first uh, back flip with the new settings. Um, you, you can set up uh, exponential rates on the uh, control sticks. I have a Tyrannus 9D plus transmitter and uh, I had the expos maybe off a little bit here because when I do this backflip it actually does two backflips in a row uh, and I said whoa <laughs> that was a that was a little exciting so now I'm going to uh, go forward here and do a, a front flip and I think the, um, now that I'm aware of what how it's going to behave the front flip uh, turns out much better and you can see that it stabilizes real quick uh, right after the uh, uh, front flip um, so uh, again you know with these racers they are so different from flying um, you know a camera bird oh here comes a, a, a ranger in this van and so I, I kind of like cooled my jets here for a little bit just to watch and see uh, what he was going to do. He just sees me over there and, and goes right by and so I kind of follow him with the uh, with the ZMR 250 and I see that he's turning down into one of the picnic areas to check out because they see that it's still neat after the Memorial Day uh, weekend. So we face front and center here and go back out and we're going to try a, another roll here and uh, see that it's, it stabilizes uh, real nice after the roll and uh, I think we're going to do an, another uh, uh, flip here, back flip, and uh, just to, you know, to now that I, I, I have a feeling for uh, how the uh, controls are set, and uh, it, it does a, a nice back flip, kind of not, doesn't come out on, on heading, but uh, it works nonetheless, so um, this is a, just a little uh, test flight, I wanted to make sure everything was working, and uh, show uh, DJ Soulforce that uh, the old man can still fly a uh, a racer. Uh, we'll uh, see you again in uh, maybe another uh, video.